The beautiful Tantalus Range in the background, part of the coast range of British Columbia, a perfect backdrop for a children's park, appropriately named Tantalus Park. And here's the gentleman who designed this playscape, Mr. Heinz Berger. Uh, for those of us used to the more traditional look of uh, playgrounds, this playscape is a little different. Uh, what is the rationale behind the strange shapes that we see here? Well, children have more imagination than we as grown-ups normally have. Uh, uh, things don't have to be uh, uh, airplanes, boats, or, or houses. Uh, they, in their imagination, make things out of, out of everything, as long as they can do something with it. Now, unfortunately, we cannot give them uh, um, loose building material, building blocks and uh, saws and hammers and, and nails and spikes because we can't afford it financially um, to do this. But we want to give them as much as we possibly can, uh, which is reasonably vandal-proof. So what would this park have cost? Uh, well, they, uh, you mean the playground itself, yes, not the total yes. park. The playground... Um, actually, material-wise and labor-wise, not including the black topping, which was not absolutely necessary, actually, it was only $800. Is there any uh, cost breakdown for uh, a smaller playground? Now, you see the kids playing around that little pole arrangement. What would that have cost? Uh, <clears throat> I, I don't know. We, we need, didn't figure out in detail how much it would cost. The, the lumber is, uh, and, and the poles are from the beach, but they would have cost probably um, $40, $50 to pick up and bring into place. But we needed some concrete foundations. So I would say about uh, $250 as a maximum. Yeah, so communities... Uh, in entire area, $250. So communities uh, that don't have that much money for playgrounds could use this kind of a concept. Oh, yes, yes. Um, they could use um, uh, any old young as long as they have the imagination to use it. Mm -hmm. How many parks have you uh, designed in West Vancouver? Well, um, we are... Um, a team of people, it's not only me, uh, uh, Mr. Wood, the superintendent, uh, he's our boss, and Bill Bauer, our draftsman, we together as a team design the parks, and of course our board gives us the indication what they want or what we need. I want to ask uh, a question which isn't really, I guess, within your specific field, but I live in an apartment block where the kids have to play on the uh, parking lot in front of the building. Now, that's obviously not a good idea. No, I don't think so. Um, we, we always say that we should try wherever possible to uh, separate um, the traffic from pedestrians, but you definitely should try to separate traffic from playing children. Um, and this, is, of course, is possible, but you need a little space. Now, I don't know your particular area, but a minor, I'm sure, that a minor parking uh, play area could have been incorporated in the planning stage. Now, it might be difficult. I don't know, but my opinion is that apartment blocks, two or three blocks together, should have one minor play area for the tots, which you call tot lot usually, uh, 
and then of course you should have your neighborhood parking, uh, uh, neighborhood um, um, playground, which should be in walking distance. It should not be more than one half a mile from uh, from any given area. But a tart lot should be in in the immediate area of your apartment. Do you think that there are now nearly enough uh, playgrounds and playscapes for young children in the lower mainland specifically? No, definitely not. No, we haven't got enough playgrounds, and everybody knows it. All the parks department knows, and we are trying to work in this direction and improve um, improve the situation. And you obviously feel that this kind of uh, uh, playground design is the wave of the future. Uh, Yes, partly. Uh, this doesn't go as far as I would like to see it. I think that we should have in every community at least one or two or three, depending on the size, um, adventure playgrounds where you can expose children to a completely, um, uh, to their own environment, completely closed off from the surrounding, where they can do things, create things, build things, dig. And, and, and have creeks and uh, running water and can create their own environment and, and learn while they do so. This is a proposed playscape and we hope to get uh, some money to build it this year or next year. Um, we were talking about a low budget playground before. This will cost a little more, but it's very durable. It's built out of concrete, spray concrete, granite concrete and uh, stainless steel slide uh, right here. A stairway going up to it in the back. The children can go into here or can come up this stairway or go into the windows into the rear or in here or can climb up here and slide down the fireman's pole or they can climb up on this post and go over the balancing beam. There's hundreds of different things they can do with one playscape like this. Um, this is what I would like to see. This is just one step in the right direction, but definitely not the final step. Uh.